10 starts now with a breaking news alert. Tonight, a bombshell discovery after a 12-day search for a missing man and woman from Central Texas. Oklahoma authorities have confirmed two bodies were found as the investigation now crosses state lines. Temple police confirmed just an hour ago they believe they found the remains of Jenna Scott and Michael Swearingen. They were last heard from January 4th, and the cars they were in, the car they were in was found in Austin. As the story unfolded, we learned Scott filed a protective order against her former boyfriend, 44-year-old Cedric Marks. That order was later thrown out. Marks was arrested last Tuesday in Michigan on an outstanding warrant for burglary in Temple. During all of this, both families have continued the desperate search for answers. Investigators teamed up with Oklahoma authorities asking them to search a rural property in Clearview about 70 miles south of Tulsa. Today, the answers no one wanted. News 10's John Carroll is following this case and has more information for us this afternoon. John, what's the latest? Well, Tara and Justin, in our own investigation, we learned late last evening that a possible crime scene had been discovered in Oklahoma and Temple Police's search for the missing Scott and uh, Swearingen. Sources now confirm to me that the bodies found in rural Oklahoma are those of the two missing from Temple. And late this afternoon, Temple Police said they believe the remains found to be there of Scott and Swearingen. Temple Police and the Texas Rangers requested help last Friday from Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation to search some rural property just south of the little town called Clearview. It is not known exactly when the bodies were discovered and the condition of the remains, but sources told us it could have even happened last night. We're also told the bodies were discovered on land belonging to relatives of Cedric Marks. Jenna Scott's former boyfriend, Scott's father, Jonathan, was understandably emotional today and would not go on camera, but told me, quote, we need justice. This was so unnecessary. My daughter had all the information they needed to stop this and was provided in the hearing for the protection order. Now, Bloomington, Minnesota police told me today they will reopen the investigation into another former girlfriend of Mark's who had a baby with him. April Peace went missing in March of 2009 and has never been found. These hundreds of documents I obtained last night show a bitter dispute between Marks and Peace before she went missing. To be clear, Marks has not been charged in any of these three deaths, but that is expected to change. Reporting live in the studio, John Carroll, KWTX News 10. Our John Carroll, continuing our coverage, John, thank you. And we do want to reiterate again, police have not at any point called Marks a suspect or person of interest. Be sure to visit KWTX.com and follow us on Facebook and Twitter for the latest updates. News 10 starts now with a breaking news alert. Breaking news out of Bell County tonight. Crews are searching for two men on Belton Lake. The search has been going on since late last night after two canoes capsized. Game wardens in Texas Parks and Wildlife are looking for those two men who were said to be in their early 20s. Fort Hood officials confirm one of them is a soldier. Let's get right to News 10's Brandon Hamilton who is at that scene right now. Brandon, what's going on? Hey, Justin, from the ground to the air, the search is still on tonight for two men who's last missing since last night after their boat capsized. I'm going to step out of the way real quick so you guys can see the active scene behind me. News 10 starts now with a breaking news alert. And we begin with breaking news out of Temple, where police are currently investigating after two people a male and a female were found dead inside a home. This is in the 2100 block of North 1st Street in Temple. We know the house is actually located near Miller Park and Lamar Middle School is across the street. Let's go now to News 10's Chelsea Edwards, who is live at the scene to show us exactly what's happening. Chelsea. Justin, as you mentioned, I am right next to Miller Park, looking right across the street at Lamar Middle School. And we are following some more breaking news at this hour. Take a live look right now at a community in Bellmead. Few details have been released, but Bellmead police confirm the McLennan County Bomb Squad is there investigating the scene after finding a suspicious device. You can see the vehicle for the Sheriff's Department right there on the right-hand side of your screen. The police department is being assisted, in fact, by several other law enforcement agencies. Once we get more information about what exactly is happening here, we will...
This breaking news out of Temple where police are investigating after a bank robbery this afternoon. News 10's Brandon Hamilton is outside the Wells Fargo on South 31st Street. And Brandon, from what we understand, they're still trying to find the suspect, right? Hey, Justin, that's correct. Uh, Temple police are still searching for that suspect, the person responsible for this bank robbery here at the Wells Fargo on 31st. Start now with a breaking news alert. We begin with breaking news out of Colleen. Police trying to find two suspects in a 17 year old's murder. We first brought these details to you in a push alert on our News 10 app. Detectives are trying to find a 21 year old Darius York and 17 year old Zamanta Alvis. 17 year old Obadiah Bush was shot off Covey Lane Saturday, dying at the hospital. York and Alvis are both considered armed and dangerous. If you see them or know where they are, call 911 or Colleen Police at the number on your screen. News 10's Brandon Hamilton spoke with Bush's mother, sister, and friend. We'll have his report coming up tonight at 6. Okay, we've got some breaking news out of Houston right now to tell you about. The police chief there has confirmed several officers have been shot. Right now, you're taking a live look at the scene. We don't know a whole lot about this just yet, but we're going to have much more information on this at 6, and you can check it out at KW. And breaking news out of Chicago, where several crews are at a hospital turned active shooter scene. This is what we know right now. The Chicago police spokesman says there are multiple reports of injured victims. One of them is a Chicago police officer. The spokesman says that officer is in critical condition. At least 10 ambulances were posted near the Mercy Hospital on the city's south side around 3.30 this afternoon. At least one possible offender was shot and crews are searching the hospital now. Several people, including some wearing white coats, were seen walking through the parking lot with their arms up. Here's what witnesses say they saw. Blue was announced twice, five minutes apart, which means somebody done died or two people done died. Then we heard cold silver for the family center, which is that door right there. So they had to run in and retreat. How you know it was two shooters because it was an exchange. It was like pow, 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 pow. It was extreme and it was very loud and it was close. So this is what happened. I don't know after that. SWAT came and got us out the utility room and made us walk across the street. The CBS in Chicago is reporting the gunman who they believe is now dead targeted a woman dressed in scrubs in the parking lot. This is a very fluid situation. We'll keep updating you as we learn more on KWTX.com and our News 10 app. You can get that for free in your phone's app store.